biggest crowd of the season long gone. All the debris from the day's play almost gathered. Time to reflect on one manager's victorious battle of tactical will. This is Kevin Dillon's exclusive view from a battered office HQ. It's a bit dilapidated, isn't it? Actually, it's probably one of the only clubs in the country or in the world where the floodlights are turned on over there. Brilliant. This is it, then. This is home. Yeah, this is it. This is the office. It's great. It's great being in charge. The decisions are yours. You know, I speak to Gary a lot about everything. But um, now I'm enjoying it, really enjoying it. Managers play this kind of game of chess every week as they're trying to outside the, the opposition. So, so what were you thinking before um, Bournemouth came here and arrived? Well, I went to watch them a few weeks ago when they played Northampton, and uh, you know they were four-four-two, you know, typical British team. So when you set up, what were you trying to do? What, what did you think they were trying to do to you? Well, you know, Lee Bradbury, who is playing right back, and his delivery was superb, and he was basically trying to hit the front man, which was Fletcher who I thought was probably their best player today, most effective player. So we just got Ben Harding, you know, just to sit in front, you know, just to sit in front of him. <laughs> to be honest, Fletch won a lot of headers, but Ben was protecting the two centre-halves two centre from that. And obviously Pittman was the one who was running off him and the wide player as well. But that was their main outlet. You know, Feeney as well is their best player by far. He's the one who gets on the ball. I thought Sandell, again, was outstanding today, and he stopped the threat from him getting on the ball. That's snuffing them out, but how are you trying to hurt them? We kicked them off all the time, we sent it forward, and we're trying to get the two wide players to just come in a little bit, and then the, the midfield players just to get a little bit closer so we can win the second ball. And it's all about playing in the opposition's half. If the channel ball's on, which was on quite a lot today, we'll put it in the channel and we'll play in this area here. If it's not on, we'll play in the midfield. And I thought we tried to do both today, and in the end, we won the game, so the plan worked. The first goal, we wanted Jackson to be isolated too, because he's got an amazing pace. And at work, he got the ball, he ran inside, he got fouled, he got the free kick, and, you know, Sandell scored twice from set pieces, and uh, I always fancied him to hit the target. You know, he doesn't curl it, he just smashes it's it. It's going to be Sandell to strike it, he's curled it into the top corner! Outstanding strike from the fullback. Shotter in front against the Cherries here with that ball curled way beyond Jalal's outstretched right hand. But was there a point in this game where you were trying to get a change of strategy and tactic onto the pitch while the game was going on? Sometimes we try and isolate. We ask the, the wide players of the three to stay up, which keeps their full backs back. I thought they started the second half a lot better than us. They got the, the goal. The, Strange penalty that was given by the referee. Now Fletcher's in a tangle with it there. Penalty! penalty. Blackburn, a jump should have tugged back Fletcher, and what an important moment for the Cherries. So, Brett Pittman then. Pittman is up and strikes it coolly into the corner. It's a big, big goal for the Cherries here. More than a thousand fans celebrate behind the goal to the right. It's all the shot one, Cherries one. We went two up front, you know, we put uh, Jackson and uh, Morgan up front, and uh, I thought that changed the game. It's something that they've never played at this club, you know, they always play with a three in midfield, but I just felt that we needed to try and get a goal. Bird looks to bend the cross in, it's just behind Bosnic, it's going to be finished by Straker, what a save from Jalal! And Pierce puts the loose ball behind. Straker had to score, and Jalal threw himself at it. Turns cleverly, hooks the ball into the near post. Chance for Straker again. Back heel, and Straker scores. All the shot grab the winner. You feel like. Do you enjoy this mind game? Yes, I do. It's good. There's a lot of things to do at this level, but I'm enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Is it a substitute though for play? No chance. No. 